YouTube. So this, today, today we're we doing got our, our school stuff. School stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do unboxing for our K-12 curriculum. Let's go ahead and do tags first. Okay. Okay, first all letters. Yes, because it says open first, and these Wait, are what? tags boxes. Yep, so that's, we'll see what's in there. I think it's gonna be a magnet. It's gonna be a magnet. It, it is a magnet. Yeah? Good job. Hey! It is a magnet. Yep. And a letter. See, is it that... It says, school kids. <laughs> school kids. Okay. All right, so let's see what kind of books we have in this first one. First grade. Yes, so this is the K-12 first grade. No, we got to do this box first, buddy. Nope. Nope, not two at a time, because we have to check this. Can somebody pull this out? There we go. So this looks like it is the phonics curriculum. Yep, it comes with, oh, this is the tile game. Oh, I love, I used to love that. So these are, this is one of the phonics games. What's in here, buddy? Oh, uh, oh I think this like is your math, math stuff. Oh, you're green this year, buddy. Yeah, you get the green, green math book. Oh, and hey, look, you get your own math blocks. So let's see. Let's see your book, buddy. I think Shush. I opened the box upside down. I think you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I didn't specify. Yeah, you did. did. You opened it upside down. So this is the map. We're gonna put this in your head. Hold still. Let's see if it'll fit in here. I don't know how Ow. this is gonna work. <laughs> this book is too big. It's not gonna fit in there. Let's Do a magic see. trick into my head. We got. <laughs> Do a magic trick into his Wait, don't head. Hold on, buddy. Like show us the show us the shapes. We got we some got shapes. a rectangle. <laughs> I mean, this a is pyramid. A, this is a pyramid. This is a different type of pyramid. We got a map that has the okay. world on one side. Okay. And the map. These oh. ones are kind of, these are these are ones that are kind of like Legos, and this. They is, snap together. They snap together. Okay, oh, that's, <laughs> that's heavy. all right. <laughs> okay, it's heavy. Which class is this gonna be? Eight. Oh, this is the rest of the phonics. Oh yeah. So these are um, these? easy readers. Giant pieces of paper. No, <laughs> buddy, these are um, sight word flashcards. Awesome. And then your phonics um, oh, test sorry. book. I dropped it on my foot. This and is the activity book. Sorry. Oh, this is the So very similar to the kindergarten one. It's just a little bit more challenging. Yeah. Can I out? Alright, what's in here? Oh, that this is your like... language skills kit. Huh? Oh, okay. You got a bag to put your books in. It's a checklist. Oh look, you love Amelia Bedelia. Okay, I just opened up a random oh. book. Oh, so cute. A picture for Harold's room. These are good books. You guys love all of these. Oh, you got the yellow handwriting book this year. Handwriting is part of the language skills program. And handwriting without tears is actually really good. A lot of occupational therapists use it. So um, we were excited whenever we found out that um, their school does this program. And okay, you're just, you're digging in, aren't you, buddy? They have these magazines that they read stories in um, about real places oh, and toad? yeah. I forgot you get to read that in first grade. Toad. We're definitely frog keep and road. Frog and, toad. and then they have and then we have a little language the skills. They have language oh, skills what, workbooks. This? They get really excited over these books because it's actually a nice curriculum that has, I mean, it has a lot of good books that people really 
love. Like, this is a book. I actually had this book whenever I was their age, so it was really exciting to oh, yeah, see that I they teach this. this. That's so oh, Harry and the Lady Next Door. Oh, yeah. That Those are awesome, cool. too. Is that name is that green? Lucy's copy is probably there. This is the, just to show you, this is the um, textbook that they have. And, like, it has in black what the parent is supposed to read. And then the words in, like, the bright pink is what the students are supposed to respond with. So you always know that your child is either on track or that you need to give them a little bit more help. So it takes all the guesswork out of it. I really, I love the way they do that. Oh, oh that's, that's a scale. It's, a scale. Oh. it's for science. 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 <laughs> this is something. Oh, oh that's, that's got seeds and yes. And that's a bunch of different science experiments that we're going to get to do this year. Yep, a seeds ball. and the beans. And feathers. And the oh, feathers. Tips, Here, look at this one. Oh, yeah, so they have books on weather and different aspects of nature. This one didn't really have very much. Like the states of matter, This one didn't storms. have very much. Oh. oh! Yeah, but they, because we have to, all of the science experiments, we have to go get stuff to make the stuff. Better. Yeah. Let me it's, see your science. Dun, 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 dun. So each lesson has... Um, preparation guide for parents, and then it has the worksheets and a quiz in the back just to make sure that they're understanding everything. And it all comes with an answer key, too. <laughs> science is not my thing. Science is my thing. You love science, yeah, don't you? Hey, put your, put that stuff back. Surprised by what's in there. Oh, oh wait, wait this art. is art. Yeah. Did he not? Oh. That's cool. Did he not get a history set? They have a great art program that some people actually think is too detailed. They send art supplies like pastels and clay and paint and brushes. Um, I think it's probably the sticks of clay. Um, but these, their art curriculum teaches them about Pete Pondrian. Um, oh gosh, just like um, Peter Bruegel. I mean, Van Gogh, they learn about so many famous artists. They learn different whoa, whoa, whoa. styles of They painting. learn different styles. They learn, like, about um, printing. Um, we really love it, but some people actually complain that it's too advanced. What yeah. do you think about that? I think, I don't think that it's um, too advanced. I love it. Okay. Time for the fourth grade unboxing. Now, so this is my geography book because I always do that at the beginning of there for history and Virginia social studies. I love social studies. I haven't yeah. had that in. A, I haven't I actually haven't had that in a couple years. No, because you've been focused more on world history. So this yeah. is all about our state. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. We'll make it fun. I know that you like, yes, like there's Spider-Man. <laughs> I yeah. know you love world Look, history. He's, he's, oh, this is your science. Oh, yeah, this is going to be so cool. Each box comes with a checklist so you know what you're supposed to get. Yeah, in case, you know, they accidentally leave something out. Then they, their website is really easy to um, fill stuff out and get... Um, Get replacement items for anything Animals that. Animals without backbones. Oh, cool. Animals without what ones? Backbones. Oh. Ow. So that's what their science stuff I'm looks like. Myself on this. Oh, your so books so are cool. your science books are thinner this year than what they were last year. Oh wow. Fossils. Oh, cool. 
magnets and rocks, sand, sand and clay, clay and, and pipe, pipe cleaners. Wow. What's pipe cleaners? Pipe. These <gasps> you look bendy cool. things. Fourth grade language arts. Oh, cool! I got a whiteboard. Oh, I wonder what you'll use that for. Oh gosh. So yours is. Oh, I think it's usually like purple, isn't it? These are just a little yeah. bit different though. Mm. Student oh, guide. Vocabulary. Oh, okay. Let's see your Experiences vocabulary book. Experiences in English. Grammar of life. Oh, okay. So you're going to have more grammar and like writing skills. Interesting. Classics <gasps> for young readers. Who is that on the front? Who does that look like? Um. I think Gulliver. it looks. I think it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Gulliver. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. Here's She's probably gonna read Gulliver's Travels this year. Cool. Oh, and let's see. Uh, this book. There we go. Oh, this is the exercises in English book. Sounds for me. Wow. Hey, Mommy, one of my stories is Ricky Tiki Tabby. Oh, cool. Yeah. I remember okay, reading that. Nice. Okay, vocabulary. Wow, you have a lot of language skills this year. Mm -hmm. Writing and action. I wonder if that's instead of having a journal. Okay. Oh, you know what? This year, these books are paperback instead of hardback. Oh, That's yeah. why it seems like there's so much. Yeah. That's why. So this is a little different than the third grade. Classics well, for you. another classics for you. Second and third grade curriculum. It's a little bit different. I got two. Oh, cool. So this is instead of that one stories book that um, Tag got. Oh look, Robinson Crusoe. Oh cool. Aww. It's primitive as can be. Oh yeah. Oh okay, you get um, red for math this year. Oh cool. Got these. My um my activity book is um. Hardback oh, okay, so you'll have to copy down the problems. That's why we got you that notebook paper. Let's see what... It's cool, because it's got wow. like a diver and a... It is much smaller this year than last year. This one is the lesson guide. Yeah, that's like for um, learning coaches. Oh, yeah. So it looks like you got a lot of fraction stuff in here. Ooh, okay. You've got some like pre-algebra stuff too. That's all right. You learn it now and then yeah. it'll be easier whenever you take regular algebra. So that is really cool. And look, do you see how small it is? Yeah. <laughs> Does that make it, it feel like less? As thick as I know it. Last year. It was her third grade math book was, was like at least big. this size. Yeah. Um, and it was kind of overwhelming because yeah. some people love math. Lucy is good at it, but it's a little overwhelming. Yeah. And that's okay because sometimes stuff like history and writing and art is overwhelming to someone who loves math. So yeah. everybody has their strengths. Yeah. Mine is history. Like literature? Mm-hmm. And, and like art. And art. You're really good with science, though, too. Yeah. You understand science really well. Yeah. I like the stuff about animals and science. ecosystems. Yes, you do. You love science, don't you? You're like the youngest science boys I know. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a little engineer. Yeah, he's like a little Albert Einstein. Box. Yeah, so this is my the... favorite color. Yeah, it's got teal. This is the new K-12 boxes. And this we have... Now like millions of these boxes that yeah. were the ones that they have used in the past for a while. Yeah. So last one. Can you last get it out? One. Can I get it out? There's tape down. Yeah, There's a little I tape put down in there. <laughs> hey. 
is art. Art, you love art. I it's love like your favorite. Art. art is one of my absolute favorites. This is paper. So we get um, each books grade gets paintings. books of paintings, and well, there's pictures of sculptures and stuff too. It's not just paintings. Um, Oh, oh nice. We love working with pastels, don't we? Ooh. It's all right. Oh. So that's um, burlap. So I guess you're going to make something out of that. And then. No, it, that's to discolor stuff. It looks like you might. Oh, okay. So this is the first time that she's had like an art textbook. She's had the books before. And then all the tests are just online, but this gives a lot of instructions, oh. which is nice because before it was completely online. Um, so yes. this is nice to have a little bit of extra. Yep, and you got paints. We have tons of art supplies around our house though, don't yeah. we? We're kind of an art family, right? Yep. What if like we thought there was school supplies in these boxes? But instead, there was just like a ton of Lego sets. That Lego would sets awesome. would be amazing. This would be a lot of Legos to put together. Hey guys, this we are the Incredible Warrior, Warrior family. family. And this is our first day of school, so we wanted to give you a tour of our schoolroom. Yeah. Um, this is our fifth year. Can you believe that? Our fifth year doing Virginia Virtual Academy. Um, through K-12. So it's online public school. It's not homeschooling. Um, so this is the stuff that we found works Seriously. best for us after, yes. you know, years of doing this. How do you I don't... house? Okay, apparently we're Let's asking see. Siri okay. things now. I found this on the All right. for how do you build, <laughs> how do you build a house. <laughs> Let's show them the school room. Yeah. This is my desk. We have a chair. Oh, very lovely. <laughs> we have it's a, a Yoshi ball chair. A, a computer, which is very helpful. And we have these little buttons here that I don't know about. And we have a shark. It's kind of fine. A shark up there. And we have a, a couple spines. So every room in our house has a different Disney theme. And we thought the a fun theme for the schoolroom would be Meet the Robinsons. So we have this fun picture that says, it's been a long, hard day full of emotional turmoil and dinosaur fights, which pretty much sums up doing school at home um, for those of you who have done it. Just kidding. Yeah. They're super, it, it's, it's fun. It's, yeah. it's fun and it's challenging. So we're going to um, be adding more to the Meet the Robinsons theme in here. Um, we just haven't been able to yet. So um, the other thing I wanted to show you was these are their charts that they put gold stars on whenever they finish a unit of a subject. So like this is Lucy's science and she has 10 units of it. So in each a unit is basically a chapter, just different curriculums call it different things. Um, but whenever she finishes unit one, she puts a star on it and that way they can really like track their progress and they feel like they're accomplishing something cause they can actually see it. So tag back to your desk. What have we got? So we have the world. We have the world. This was my mom's. Um, and it's actually pretty cool. It's so old. <laughs> it says, yeah, but it's so old that it still has the Soviet Union on here. So that's a pretty cool Whoa. museum relic kind of thing. Um, and we have some stuff. My mother-in-law was a teacher also, and she just retired. So we have, she gave us these different um, science artifacts, like the turtle shell and Spines. the spine and the shark. Oh. We yeah, otter. an otter, an actual otter. One. Actual otter. Okay, so we have tags like pencils. This is his writing journal, and you guys saw in the unboxing um, the handwriting book. He's got some fidget stuff to help him kind of focus hey, throughout the day. Um, and some like little Lego set, very small Lego sets. That's just extra stuff. 
we keep his um, phonics things in here. So that's all in one drawer. These are like math flashcards and rulers. Headphones. Oh, headphones for when he needs to do a live class session. And I found that the best way to organize all the papers is actually um, binders um, for each subject. That's really helped us. We've done that since the beginning with Lucy. So this shelf, this is, shelf is half of ours. Here, here. This is Lucy's and this is my side. So my side has a broken eraser. Really? An eraser? <laughs> <laughs> and, and my he has a brand new rock collection well, for science. Yeah. That's awesome. There's ore in here. There is. Lucy, show us what's in your side. Okay, so this is my science um, crank, mm -hmm. I think. Um, art. art. Yeah, we got... So I have um, art stuff and like, I have paintbrushes and... So then this is tags, art, section. And then these are some of their, um, some extra books mm -hmm. for art and their... The nice crayons and colored pencils and the gold stars for their um, and glue charts, glue sticks, highlighters. I'm kind of crazy about color coding things and yeah. making sure all the colors are in the proper order. And that's math. Yeah, this is their math baskets that has their books, but also their um, like counting cubes and things like that. Yeah. So, Lucy, let's. My desk. See your desk. Okay, so we have a um, laptop and a yoga ball chair. Yeah. Just like mine. Pretty Can good. Um, and I have an L. Yep, Tag has a T up there that he painted. Yeah, it's an amazing sign. And then there is um, like science, some science stuff up there. And if you're wondering what that big green ball is up there. It's a wireless speaker. Yes. And next to it is actually aluminum. Aluminum. Yes, that's right. We got we have a lot of awesome science supplies now. And then we have our Disney pin board in here that only yeah. has like half of our pins. <laughs> I don't know I why that's have. in the schoolroom, but for right now it's in there. Like a quarter of yeah, the pins. Probably. We have the lovely Sharpies. The lovely Sharpies. Yes, that lovely. Every school needs. Every desk needs. I have a map. And, um, yeah, because Lucy's going to be doing a lot of stuff with the states this year. She's having state history. And then her spelling is all... Um, 50 states. All 50 states. And their capitals, too. Yep. So. And my sign. Um, let's see. Oh, so this is their, they have a printer and a hole puncher because there is stuff that we have to print out. But this is their um, language arts shelf that has tag stuff over here. And he has a lot of books. Yeah. She just has longer, more challenging books. Um, so those are their language arts for like literature and writing skills, mm -hmm. vocabulary, spelling, all of that is there. Okay, some grammar this year. Yes, more grammar this year, a lot more grammar. And then this shelf has like extra stuff, like some of the learning coach books um, and some of the extra science stuff that we have. So, Lucy, let's take a look in your desk. Is it crazy messy? Um, this drawer no. has um, uh, handwriting, handwriting. Um, chalk, chalk and erasers, oh, index cards. Those are good for like spelling um, and vocabulary. This has history books, my two history books. Um, and geography. geography um, which I always do at the beginning and closer to the end of the year of history. Um, and Virginia Social Studies. And then we have Lucy's drawer for her binders. And she has like markers and stuff too. Um, and some squishy stuff so she can have a little... Oh, and Stress these are relief. the coolest um, uh, rulers. They're like I'm trying. That's cool. I have the Mr. Sketch scented markers too. 
And then we have um, different flashcards in here that definitely this year, these are all going to be used a lot. Yep. Here, you want to move this? Yeah. Um, the other side. There's Lucy's headphones. And then in here, we just have her extra, this printer paper and um, notebook paper also. Oh, so and that's, I'm really glad that we, yes, and tape. <laughs> Which has um, no tape in it currently. It's actually mine. This worked out really well having the schoolroom built. These shelves are all built in. Um, Operation Finally Home and Miller and Smith did a great job like meeting all of our needs because having two kids in school now, we couldn't just do it in the dining room anymore. It was way too complicated trying to organize all of this. So we hope you guys have a great day going back to school, whenever it is. I know some people have already started and some people are still gonna go back later. So wish the kids good luck at school. Bye. Good luck at school. Good luck at school.